you've been looking for this matchup? I mean, I think it's it's something that we, I mean we've definitely we knew the possibility of uh, going into it. Um, it's not the only one. It's not like that we would have been excited for whoever we played. Uh, and all that stuff, but I mean, there are definitely. I mean, you can't completely say that there's no factors of thinking about last year and all that. But, uh, uh, but yeah, it's definitely something. I mean, it's gonna be a great challenge, though. I mean, they're 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 even more dangerous than they were last year because I mean, obviously having Deshaun Watson back and all that stuff. So uh, they've looked good all year. I haven't really got to watch them until last night. Watch that North Carolina game, but uh, they were impressive, uh, and it'll be a, a challenge for us. Can't wait to see them on film and sort of start to dig into that. Last chance at, a, at the revenge tour to make it five for five or whatever. Uh, I mean, it's it's a new year, it's a new team, all that stuff. So, yeah. But have you guys forgotten about forty six? Um, I mean, you can, it's I don't think that's something you can forget about. You know, I mean, that's something that's probably ingrained on my on my memory forever. I don't think it's something I'll ever really forget about. I mean, obviously very embarrassing and all that, and they whipped us up and down the field for 60 minutes. So um, can't say you forgot about it, but it's also going to be a, it's gonna be a little bit different. What was the, the feeling like on the field during that game? Uh, just could, like, it was just one of those everything that could go wrong went wrong type of scenarios. Uh, felt like we were pretty well prepared going into it and everything, and then just got out there and just – Everything went very drastically wrong from the first snap, uh, right off the bat. It went, everything went pretty wrong. It just felt uh, felt pretty inept as a team. Uh, just couldn't couldn't get anything going. Everything and not so, not something I care to want, try to live through again. But I mean, there's I mean, there's no doubt. At some point, I'll probably go back and watch that that film again. Didn't ever want to, but probably uh, probably will. We've been to bowl games before. This is a little more than a bowl game. What's that gonna feel like? Do you think? It's it's very different, you know. It's not I can't compare it to any other feeling I've ever had, you know. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, uh, but especially because of the all the unknowns, the uncertainties as far as the schedule. Like, uh, what happens if we win? I don't know. I don't know how it works, you know. Uh, so that that part will be different. Uh, but knowing we're playing for playing for one more. Um, not something I've, I've done since, since high school, you know, since you're playing in the playoffs in high school. But just to be able to say that we're playing for another chance to go play with each other, I think is going to be a motivating factor within itself uh, because this team loves being around each other and loves playing, playing ball together. Um, obviously, there's also some, some banners and some rings and things that also be fun to play to play for. But, uh, but playing for each other is also going to be a lot of fun, too. All right, what, what's fun to you about this, the way this team motivates itself? I mean, i got to think. Just having Baker around himself is different in the way that you guys motivate yourself. I mean, look at the personalities around the around the team. You know, uh, I'm, I guess I'm sort of like the stabilizing influence. I mean, you got when you got we got a guy like uh, like Strike, and you got guys like Baker and Shep, Joe Mixon. Uh, I mean, there are so many guys that y'all don't see their personalities. We got some wild personalities on this group, and it makes it a fun time. Everywhere we go, it's going to be fun. Uh, I know, I know, it'll be the bold process here. We'll have, we'll find a way to make that a good time. And then when we get to Miami, we'll. I'm sure we'll, we'll have a lot of laughs, a lot of memories there too. I mean, everywhere we've gone, we've had a good time and enjoyed each other. Um, and that's what sort of made this year so special for me, not just the wins and losses, but the chemistry of the team. Uh, you guys always seem to seem to play best with a chip on your shoulder. Something slight, like moving from three to four, does that add to that any? Maybe a little bit. Uh, I can't say it doesn't. I mean, I sort of I like that. You know, I like the fact that we're if they, if there's there's four teams and then they ranked us last. Uh, so I mean, I I think that that does uh, play to our advantage a little bit because we do play best not when we're the, when we're the favorite, but when we're the underdog and when uh, we ha we have that feeling of being a little bit disrespected and everything. And there's I mean, it's much respect to all the other teams, but um, I like being in in the four spot rather than the one spot. Do you hard? think you guys would be standing here today watching the selection show after the Texas game? I don't think that was even uh, something that we could think about. It wasn't even a consideration. Uh, it, we weren't even thinking about anything beyond that next week, Kansas State, because one, as we learned last year, one loss could turn into two really quick, and then two losses can, can turn into a whole season uh, of disappointment. Uh, and embarrassment. Um, so we had to focus on Kansas State. I don't think that there was anything. Uh, Coach Stoops did tell us right in the locker room after, it's not over, you know. Try to remind everyone that it's not over, that we could, all of our goals are still out in front of us. But I don't think at that point that anybody was thinking about the playoff, anybody was thinking about uh, ice sculpture out there with the state of Oklahoma, uh, all that all that good stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, that's, and that's why it's so incredible to see where we've come from then to, to today. But we're not done yet, and there's going to be a lot a lot of long hours and hard work that are going to go 
go ha go happen on this on this facility before we get to December 31st. Can you expound on that? Can you <laughs> describe maybe how proud you are of how far this team has come in 12 months? The, the Texas game aside, obviously. Yeah, I mean, beyond the Texas game, where we've come since the end of last year, because I, I told you all before, uh, we had – meetings with just players right after that game and, and resolved that things were going to be different and did some things different. And the strength coaches pushed us real hard in the offseason uh, and we embraced that and we had a great offseason and the, the SAE stuff and, and having a tough summer and, and, and even things like with all the coaching changes and having to adjust to all that. So many different uh, scenarios that could have given us every reason to, to fall apart or to pick at each other or uh, or to, to be anything less than our best. But instead of seeing that happen, we saw guys rise to the occasion. We saw a team come together uh, in a way like I have not been a part of in the past. And that's, that's what gives me the most pride, is seeing the adversity the team has fought through, seeing the way we've come together, um, not just since Texas, but since, whatever, December 29th of last year. How tough was it yesterday <laughs> sitting around while you knew that Clemson and Alabama and Michigan State were playing? And, and did it? mess with your head to the point where you came in today wondering is, is there some way they could leave us out of this thing? No, I mean, I didn't think that at all. Um, now, if there were, say, Notre Dame went and lost to Stanford or some, or there were another team playing that, that there were there really was a legitimate chance where it was going to come down to the wire, that would have really uh, been a tough situation to, to be in. But, I mean, I love, I'm a, I'm a football fan. I love, it was cool yesterday getting to sit around and watch college football for a day, um, getting to watch all the games and, and, and that type of thing and sort of just enjoy it like everybody else enjoys it for, for one day. So, but it can't, I can't say for a second I wasn't watching the teams, analyzing them and trying to see the blitzes come before they did and all that stuff. So, but it was fun though. How'd you, watch it? How'd you watch it at night with all those games going on at the same time? Me and uh, a couple of us went to BJ's and set up there like in the bar area with all the TVs around so we could keep tabs on everything. And then we have two TVs stacked on each other at my house. So then we, uh, we sort of posted up there and kept the, I think we kept the Clemson game on the top and the Iowa Michigan State on the bottom and, uh, and just sort of went back and forth. Have you kept the, the 40 to 6 phone background? All year, and you going to keep continuing to have that? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, I, if, if that was my background, I wouldn't be changing it now. Uh, that's, that's for sure. But, yeah. What does that block by Baker Mayfield against Oklahoma State say about him? The block on the run by Mixon. Uh, he's a football player, you know. Uh, he's not a quarterback. He's not a quarterback at all. He's a football player, and 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 you could put him at safety. You could put him at linebacker. You could put him at at kicker. Whatever you want to put him, uh, he's going to find a find a way to make an impact on the game. And that's what I hope that I hope that. Uh, the Heisman Trust and all the people that do that look at look at more than just the stats, more than just him as a quarterback, as a football player. He makes an impact on the game, uh, like no one else I've ever been around. That he finds a way to to make his presence felt. So that that play I think really uh, personifies that uh, characteristic of his game. What would it mean for this team if he gets invited to uh, New York tomorrow? Oh, I think that that we'd be so proud of him. You know, I mean, we're we're proud of him anyway, and. <clears throat> No matter what happens, no matter how the vote, voting goes, I believe he's the best player in the nation. I think they ever, the guys on this team believe he's the best player in the nation. And uh, but I'm also I'm proud of the way, not just that that he's the way he's played and the way he's led this team, but the way he's dealt with the acclaim. You know, going from being a walk on transfer, walk on again, quarterback battle, so many different things. Uh, he he had every opportunity to have a really big head right now, uh, and, and and I think a lot, most people would most most people. Uh, not only on this team, but people in, in general, human beings, that it, it would be easy to be really prideful right now and to sort of uh, bask in the in the glory. But he hasn't been like that at all. He's been the same guy, the same goofy little 12-year-old nerd, video game, video game nerd uh, that he is. So uh, I'm proud of him for that part of it. Could you, see a, could you foresee a day when you're out here at an, at an alumni function, you're parking the lot over here, you're walking across the street, and you stop and show your kids the statue, this is my quarterback? <laughs> I, that's the one part I think is the hardest for me to to wrap my mind around it. If Baker gets a statue, it shouldn't be him playing. It should not be him playing football. It should be him doing something else, like dancing or or uh, or playing a video game or something. I, he, he's I mean he's su he's he's such a goofball for lack of a better term. I, I can't imagine him having a statue. But uh, if he I want him to have a statue, and I will I will bring my children. I will take a uh, a picture in front of that statue and pay him homage. So. <laughs> if that's the, if that's what happens. As long as he has a game controller, all right, settle. Thanks, Ty.